Hey guys, it's Paul from Online Sax Academy, and today's lesson we've got the amazing tune Work Song, three ways for beginners, intermediate, and advanced level players. So this is a great bluesy tune to learn, written by Nat Adderley, who's Campbell Adderley's brother, and they'd often perform this tune together. Now, as an alto player myself, it's always quite intimidating covering a song by Campbell Adderley, as he's such a formidable player. Definitely go and check out the original studio recording of this, and there's some amazing live versions as well. Now, we're doing this song in the original key, which means we're in D minor for alto saxes and G minor for tenor saxes. The song is basically made up with the notes of the blues scale, with the exception of one note. But if you learn your blues scale so you can run up and down it, that's going to help you when you come to play the melody and also if you want to start doing your own improvisations as well. So for alto saxes it's the D blues scale, sometimes known as the D minor blues scale, and for tenor saxes it's the G blues scale or sometimes G minor blues scale. For the beginner version we're just going once through the head and I've slowed it right down to 100 bpm to give you a chance to get your fingers around this. This is in a kind of stop time style accompaniment where you're going to hear the bass and drums play on beat one and then your first phrase starts on beat two and you hear this big hit at the beginning of every two measures. So really try to feel that beat internally and keep a nice steady pulse as you're going through. Now you can get the free PDF of this beginner version and that's available at onlinesaxacademy.com in the YouTube library. Alright, so here's the beginner version. Alright, so for the intermediate version, we're going up a bit in speed, and I've also put a chorus of solo in the middle as well. Now, if you're interested in learning how to improvise, over at onlinesaxacademy.com, I'm building out a how to improvise course, which will step you through right from the very beginning. If you become a premium member, you'll get access to all the courses on the site, and you'll also get access to the intermediate and advanced PDF of this song. Along with that, I've also put together the performance tracks and some backing tracks, so without me playing sax on them, so you can try playing these all by yourself as well. Those of you that are already learning how to improvise, you can have a look at this example solo and take out some ideas you like and try to apply them to your own solos. Finally, for the advanced version, we're going up in speed again, and this time I've put two choruses of solo in the middle as well. I'm also using some more advanced techniques such as triad pairs, enclosures, chromatic passing notes. If you'd like to learn about some of these concepts in more detail, then along with the Learn to Improvise course, I've also got the Practical Music Theory course, which again will step you through from the beginning. And of course, premium members have access to the full PDF of this version as well. Okay, so here's the advanced version. <laughs> Thank you. 
Now, if any of these versions feel a bit fast at first, remember you've always got the YouTube playback speed settings and you can put it at 0.75 or 0.5. As ever, the best way to learn these songs is to listen to them lots so that you can sing along with them. Once you can sing it, it means you have a really clear template in your mind and then it's much easier to transfer onto the sax. All right, that's it for this week. Don't forget to head over to onlinesaxacademy.com where at the moment there's a free seven day trial running. And with that, you'll have access to everything that's on the site. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to hit subscribe and I'll see you next week.